We're back. Welcome back. Just about ready to start this fourth quarter, 27 to 10. There's the toast. Quaker players were leading the crowd in their toast throwing. Especially the seniors crowd chanting goalposts, and those goalposts, and that one in particular may be on its way down after this game with the Quakers up 27 to 10 in a game for the Ivy League title. Finn, loose, midfield, just throwing a man out of the way and coming down to the 35. Hanging on for dear life that time <laughs> was number 47. Kane Waller. Yeah, Ken Wa Kane Waller. Well, Wait, Finn just took his left hand <laughs> and just tried to toss the guy out of the way. Finn had a chance to just try to bust it up the outside and try to outrun him. And he thought that maybe he wasn't going to be able to do it, right. so he just decided he'd try and catch Waller off balance. Lift him up and not give him a, a choke bad, Not a bad something. idea if, if you can throw the guy down. Finn over 100 yards on the day. Yeah, Finn known to use the choke slam occasionally. Timeout, will take Lakers. a timeout. Well, was Jim, Joey Alpha Tully. Tony, Jim Finn with, now with 90 points after his last touchdown in the third quarter, the most by a Quaker since Frank Reagan had 103 in 1940, and Finn could top that with a few more touchdowns. All right, we've got a timeout on the field, 14.30 to go, 27 to 10. Quakers, we're going to go station ID here. So let's pause for a station identification. Hi, I'm Matt Rader, quarterback of the Pennsylvania Quakers, and you're watching Pennsylvania football on UTV 13. And that's Joey Alavatulli still being attended to, Tony. Uh, he was hurt when he knocked the ball loose from Damon Wilford, a huge play in this game. Alavatulli, uh, one of the starting cornerbacks Adam, for the Quakers, a junior guy that's going to be back. Both cornerbacks are going to be back for this team. Adam, good news for, I mean, I think he was just tremendously shaken up. Yeah. I, I mean, we thought maybe it was something like, like an arm or something when he came in to knock the ball out. Um, but obviously, he's resting his weight on both arms, so now they're looking at his neck. I just think he still doesn't know where he is. Boy, what a hit that was. Absolutely. You heard it up here. The ball came loose. And I did not see Wilford coming off the field, but I wonder if he is feeling the effects of that. Well, you know, Wilford's a much bigger arm. guy. Joey Alavatulli, 5'10", 175. Wilfred Harvard's new quarterback, 6'3", 215. But Alavatulli got the job done, stopped him and knocked that ball loose. And the toast. Jim Finn has surpassed 100 yards rushing for the day. Finn goes over 100 yards with that We were on last top run. of that. Adam needs 147 total on the day. We brought it up to break the Penn rushing single or not single season rather, but all time yeah. rushing record. That's Jason McGee down to the 30. Extra incentive because once these fans rush on for the goalpost, that's not gonna be toast, that's gonna be crumbs. Right. If they rush out. Still a big if. I'm not, I don't think anyone has left. As I they think, usually again, I, do. I think a lot of people are going to have that wait and see attitude. And yep. They might be seeing the first few brave souls getting arrested, and that might dissuade them. We're really going to have to see. This is going to be very interesting. We will put a camera on the field, folks. So if if you didn't rush or if you weren't down at Franklin Field, you're going to get you're going to get that perspective that you would have had. Maybe we'll just have our cameraman run to the goalpost. So you can feel like you're running <laughs> to the goalpost. And, and shaking it down, then we'll edit in that 94 footage when they put it out. So, through the magic of editing, some goalpost is coming down. Third and six. 14,909 the attendance today. Not great. Adam, not as big as the homecoming crowd. No. Raider to baton. Oh my God! And caught with the right hand at the four. They're going to win this game. Adam. Dangerous pass by Matt Rader because Kane Waller read the pass and was coming over and was just a hair late. Otherwise, he has that one picked off. Rader able to just slide it in. He's had a tremendous day. He's been very accurate today on his passes. I'll say this, first and goal from the four, 13 minutes ago, fourth quarter, Quakers 27, Harvard 10. Quakers are gonna win this game. So the only question now is whether those goalposts are gonna come down. Raider to McGee, coming left. He'll lose a couple. Jason Batung on the day, four receptions, 53 yards and a touchdown. 
by the defensive players now asking for more toast on the sidelines. Look at that. <laughs> you can see Justin Gallagher now asking for more toast. There's Joey Alfatuli trying to get back in this one. He's saying someone, watching Justin Gallagher, saying somebody throw me a piece of toast. Then goes shotgun, second and goal. Spread him out, Raider can do this. I think he's gonna roll right. Nope, he's back, looks, fires, but David Rogers almost. There's the flag. flag. It'll be first and goal from the one. And look at James Hiskin along the sidelines as well. It wasn't ter tremendous conflict, but it was con contact and it was early. We are seeing something now on the sidelines which I've never seen before, and this is very interesting, Adam. This is the first sign of the Penn administration yielding because we're seeing the toast Zamboni clear the toast only around the far sidelines. This is something we usually don't see. We see it go back and forth, up the track and down the track, and it's focusing now only down by the cheerleaders in the band. What could that mean? That could mean they're preparing for an onslaught right there. Jason McGee they is in. They can prepare for it though without allowing it. McGee's in, touchdown. Interesting that they would not go to Jim Finn there. Maybe they're trying to get McGee a touchdown. That's where McGee is senior as well. 33 to 10 Quakers, 12 minutes and three seconds before we're gonna find out about these goalposts. The magic number has been reached, and if they hit the field goal, it'll be surpassed. 34 points now on the afternoon for the Pennsylvania Quakers. 34 to 10, 12.03 to go. Before we find out about those goalposts, and let's pause for station identification. Hi, I'm Darren McDonald, and you're watching Quaker football on UTV 13. And we're back. 12.03 remaining. If we take a look at the scoreboard, it'll tell you about another upcoming event. Penn basketball versus Kansas. Well, it just disappeared. Tony, UTV for three. UTV for three. And there we get a look at Steve Bilski, the athletic communications director. Tomorrow night on here on UTV, or Sunday nights at midnight on Midnight Live, we're going to break a major story that uh, the newspaper was unable to get to about what a newspaper? big signing. What newspaper? I don't know. Well, our newspaper, the Philly newspaper, was able okay. to get this. We were going to break a major story, but a major signing for Penn basketball. Adam, who would that So you're going to get it first in Midnight Live. You know, if something happens over the weekend, you're going to get it first on Midnight Live, Sundays at midnight. They bring me on, and I give them the story. And then, of course, you're always going to get your Penn basketball stuff. I mean, our own Greg Brenner was on that Jeff Owen situation two weeks, two weeks before... Uh, Anybody else was, of course, Lamar Plummer injury. If we can get line. a shot at the Look farce, at this. At, here come the police. Here they come. With riot gear. My God. <laughs> and they are being heckled as a terrible kickoff by yeah, ter Ocken. Terrible kick. The crowd the chanting goalposts. All right, Adam, take a look at that guy in the middle. Yeah. Who is he going to stop? The guy looks like he's about 70 years old, thin, thinner than I am. Who is that man going to bring down? Who's that man going to stop? And they're just taking a walk. I don't think this is. I think this is just this a is reminder. This is a position. This is just a reminder. Now they're walking past the 80 year old alumni. I guess that's a reminder <laughs> for them, too. But again, Adam, I point to the actions of the Toast Zamboni because they, they may not be encouraging it, but they're preparing for it. Yeah. This is Wilford in trouble. Takes it up to the 42. A tackle by Justin Gallagher. And Adam, now all of those Ivy scores are final. Yes. Well, wait a minute, no. Columbia is still 13-10 over Cornell. Uh, uh, Yale 31, Purchase 28, Brown 28, Dartmouth 21. Second and three for Harvard. Harvard's not going to get a share of the Ivy League title. How about Brown coming back? Yeah, true. They started 0-2 in the season. Everyone thought they were dead. And uh, they really come back thanks to Sean Morey. Really could 
if we had an Ivy League MVP, could and would any player well help with the goalposts? I don't think so. A senior? I don't. I don't know that it would be permissible. I think that that's the that's the thing. And, and you talk about different sports. You know, we had Michael Jordan call in from the basketball team, and, and Jeff Owens was saying, you know, they're very recognizable, and they could get in trouble with their teams right. if they are spotted and identified. I think it goes likewise with the football players. Add a couple more to that group. Now they're up to five. Five's five not gonna versus 14,000. Yeah, five's not going to get it done. I'm starting to think they're... Their big weapon is going to be our Harley Copen on the field with his camera, intimidating everybody. We will not release that footage, folks. Well, we'll try. We'll show it for entertainment purposes only. Right. That does not get released to the police. Damon Jones to the outside. Jones has had a very good day. He could be over 100 by the time we're done here. Hey, Tony, bottom line is by the time you see our on the field cam right down with whatever's gonna happen, whether there's gonna be riots, injuries, chaos, looting, Rioting, coming down, hysteria. whatever happens, we are gonna be on the field and our Harley Copen, as long as he is breathing, <laughs> and if not, he'll pass the camera off to someone else, I'm sure. He'll be on there and you'll be able to watch it from the comfort of your own living room, bedroom, or the like. Nice play by everybody, Mike Germino. As uh, Adam, I spoke about it. You know, Harley's used to this, Tony. He was the Quaker last year. I mean, he has just some horror stories. Yeah. Hit with batteries at the Princeton game. We went to Lehigh and a Adam couple of fraternity guys. Yeah, a couple, of, a couple of fraternity guys just jumped him. Damon Jones now 21 carries for 99 yards. So, so I mean, the Penn defense is bending, but it's not breaking. Right. So if, if anyone's going to get this job done, it's it's Harley Copen. Wolford's pass is dropped by Terrence Patterson. That'll bring up a fourth and six. Patterson this has clock been cannot move fast enough. This game has been decided. The Quakers just continuing an incredible run. You know, it was back here a couple weeks ago where they started this one against Yale, and it was going to be three in a row, all against teams that were going to be tied for first place in the Ivy League. It's Harvard not able to win their games to get here, but still, if Harvard had won today, they would have had a share of that Ivy League title. Now the Quakers, by winning today, assure themselves of a share of the title, and if they beat Cornell, who is not in the hunt for that title next week, they win it outright with Fourth just one Ivy play. League loss. And that'll give the ball back to Pennsylvania, yeah, as Quaker, if there was any doubt. Right, Quakers get it back. But you're right, Adam, a share of the Ivy League title, as far as tearing down the goalpost is concerned, is good enough. Yep. A share or an outright title is still a title. David Matthew Rader. An incredible two years for him here at Goal the University of Pennsylvania. Increase. That security though, Tony, dead serious. Just even talking to them before the game. They're dead serious about stopping this. I don't think they can stop it if it's if it's there. What? I said beforehand I didn't think there would be the people here. I think the people are what here. What a catch by Doug O'Neill, the 38. I yeah. think the people are here to do it. So they've definitely got numbers in our favor. I'll tell you what, with about five minutes, maybe less to go, that's when we'll be sending our Harley Coven down. That's when I also think that these 100 extra police will start to show themselves. Yes. You're the Penn fans. I do it right now. There's no one watching, nobody waiting. <laughs> I do it right now. In fact, I'm going to go do it. <laughs> An interesting proposal. I'm back. The goalposts are still standing. Yeah. Finn coming right. He's dropped at the 37. Last game for the two stars on offense, Jim Finn and Matt Rader. Last home game, that is. At what point do you start pulling people, Adam? Not at, well, at any point? I mean, do, no, probably point do you, do you not. Start trying to get seniors in to start trying to get them some playing time. Now I would do that about now. You're right. I would do that. You know, and they have some senior receivers that you know would love some, some playing time. I know Brandon Carson was talking about that this week on Sports Talk. Finn split out as a wide receiver. Later back, throws to Finn who drops the ball. Oh, Knew there was something him. he couldn't do. Ball was thrown behind him. One of, the, one of the few plays. Wow. They're not joking. And they're talking right now, and you can tell what they're talking about. 
They're not talking about tonight's women's game, Penn and Villanova. Did I just see smoke come up from that crowd? I bet that wasn't a cigarette. How do you diagram that? How do you diagram stopping the crowd? Well, I think they're not. How do you draw that up? I'm going to explain. I, uh, it's just opinion, but I don't think they're going to get to a point where it's violent. This is David Rogers. Here's the thing. They're going to do their best to get this thing completely stopped. They're going to get to a point to get this thing completely stopped. Now, there's some of the, there's a ramp where they could enter. So they're going to be guarding That's these ramps. Others. That's how we right. get up. You're going to have to jump over the fence. You're right. not going to be able to get down the ramp. But we see another police officer immediately greeted by Booz. I don't want to get a little to wave to the crowd. We can get back to the game just a second. Matt Rader has gone over 250 yards on the game. 13 completions out of 21 attempts, two touchdowns. So he is on pace yep. to set oh, the all-time right. Pennsylvania record. So Lisa Belize was having some fun. Jim Finn wrapped up. And have up. a battle in his hands, perhaps. Well, see, anyway, here's the way I think they do it. I don't think that they're going to get to a point of violence. I don't think they're going to start bringing out the nightsticks and the tear gas. I don't think you're going to see riots think, or, or... Here's what happens. Yeah. You hope that all your publicity during the week about, hey, we're serious, we're going to arrest people, don't do it. You bring out the extra security. You hope that that dissuades most people. So now you hope that you have a stadium, and I think they've succeeded in that, that you have a stadium where the majority are waiting to see if everyone else does it. Now, you're still going to have a few gung-ho. You take 100 people and grab eight as they come on, not difficult to do, no one else is going. True. And that's what I think they do. Very true. If hundreds, you know, thousands of people start rushing the field, no way you can stop Nobody's going to start but shooting. But they'll still make an example of right. a couple. Oh, they will. No one's going to gonna start that. shooting, and then oh, what yeah. I, that's what I mean. <laughs> It'll happen. The goalposts are going to come down. I don't think that this extra security is here for violence. It's not going to be battling right, for the right, goalposts to right. the bitter end. But hopefully they send the message. They dissuade most people from coming. They grab the others, and that's it. Some booing and some toast throwing and some, you know, throwing up some Pepsis or something, and, and that would be the end of it. Greater to sneak. 20, 15, 10. Five, puts a move and gets down to the one. Well, right you later. know he wanted that end zone. Yep. He was not going to go down. First and goal at the two, Matt Rader. Adam, if Penn scores here, it's almost bordering on a route. We would almost be at route status if Penn can score here. Folks, I'm going to call this our UTV 13 hero cam. <laughs> let's hold on. Let's let's get this play. It's first and goal from two. Let's get this play. Play, the missing play. some. Raider to Finn. He Didn't gets get close. It. Okay. This is our UTV 13 hero cam. This is the man who just minutes from now <laughs> is going to be heading down to the field. <laughs> Folks, if you see this man, well, it already would have happened. But I'll tell you this much: if Harley goes down. Before he goes down, he's going to try to give that camera to someone so that somebody's following this. 13, UTV 13. Farley doing it for freedom. Three back set. What would you do with that freedom? This is Finn looking for the end zone, just fights his way in. Why not? Oh, and a little bit of extra action after the play. I Harvard think it was is just getting blown out of Franklin Yeah, Field. I think it was number 98. Jeff Sparovich of the Harvard Crimson after well after Jim Finn had entered the end zone gave him a shot yeah. to knock him down on the ground. No reason. And uh Well you can't get him down when he's trying. Yeah. The kick is good. It's 41 to 10. It is a route. 6.16 left, Jim Finn now 25 rushes, 111 yards, three touchdowns, needs just 30 to break that all-time Penn rushing record. You got it, all right, 6.16 to go, 41-10, Quakers on top. We'll be back in a moment on UTV 13. Uh, we're back after a terrible kickoff. Well, not a terrible, they just seem to be pooching it. Yeah, a little, little squib kick. 
Tony, I don't think it matters if Penthers a player on the field. They're up 41 to 10. They've gotten progressively better ever since they started that stretch a few weeks ago of these Ivy League showdowns, Yale, Princeton, now Harvard. And it has all come together in a brilliant showing, 41 to 10. Adam, we're going to have a personal to go. foul. Harvard is making this game ugly. Yeah. Um, really getting frustrated and taking that out. Some unnecessary shots on some Quakers. Yeah, if I'm the Quakers, and I just laugh. called for. If I'm the Quakers, I just laugh. Jim Finn, 96 points this season. That's the third best point total in Penn history. He also only needs 30 to break the all-time rushing mark of Penn football of 141. He's got 111. Fourth quarter, Columbia 13, Cornell 10. These are finals, Yale 31, Princeton 28, Brown 28, Dartmouth 21. But your Pennsylvania Quakers, six, minute and six minutes and eight seconds are making it a reality. Hopefully there's no seniors taking two classes on this team because, <laughs> because that would be awful. Six minutes and eight seconds away from making this a reality. They will have at least a share of the Ivy League title. If Edward they Cornell, they Galen. Again. Edward Galen, a sophomore, big guy, big defensive tackle. He's going to make a big mark for the next couple of years. He's been really coming on strong. That's some more promise. And look Adam. at this. Here's some. That's our own Brad Tation with his shirt off. There's Eric Peterson, another UTV 13 member. Look at this. I recognize more. I see a Scott Greenfield sighting. And others, I think they're getting ready. Eric! He's got game action. Yeah, back to the Pass game. Pass is incomplete. Nobody's really watching. It's it'll be third down and 12. There's Adam. Eric Peterson. I see Brad Tasher. I think they spell goalposts. I think they do still go post. There's some others. Let's not even give everybody his name. Hold back from that just to say. You know, and we know these guys. That these are the men who will be, or might be right. out there. They're just encouraging it. Right. Good job by them. Brad Wilford in trouble. Starting to run with the game on the field. Hold on a sec. It'll bring up fourth down, and I don't think Harvard will go for it this deep in their own territory. They don't want to make this game any worse than it already is. Fourth and three from their own 19, and they will punt it away. They're conceding the game less than five minutes left to go. Penn, you know, made it to number 28 in the latest Division I AA poll. They could make the top 25. I think they will. 41 to 10. We just missed a punt. Adam, in returning or taking the fair catch on that punt was number 84. Let's, let's, let's take a timeout, 41 Colin to 10. Smith. We'll take a timeout. 41 to 10, 447 to go. Brian, you can't miss it. First and 10 from the 45. Change at quarterback, Tony, number 16, Edward, Edward Mebs. Mebs. So has Matt Rader thrown his last pass. We've only seen Mebs once, and that was in the Fordham game, and I think they're going to go with the Mebs-Reed-Warner yeah. combination. What they said in the Fordham game, what Coach Al Bagnoli said, was they wanted to keep one of them warm, always warm one guy up on the sidelines, and mostly what they'll be doing is handing the ball off anyway. We now approach four minutes left to go. Eric, you get a shot at number 12, Blue, on our sideline. Here we McKay go. is going to get nowhere chased. going backwards. Throw nearly into our boot. The Crimson are really keyed on the run now. You know, for Matt Rader, this could be. There's Matt getting congratulations, though. He's already run his last drive here at home at Franklin Field, but what a two years for Matt Rader. Great appearance on Sports Talk and then, a, then a, just a great season. Adam, we have not seen more events to have storm the field as we predicted. Right. Still 4:01 left to go in this game, but the fans are starting to get a little restless, and I'm not sure what's going to happen. Handoff. No, it's going to be play action. Pass thrown incomplete. Oh, some changes got change thrown. Now. Is that a quarter? Penn will have to punt it away. So Edward Mebs. Well, Adam, they're bringing beginning. them from all over into punt. 
Number 37, Ryan Lazari. You know, Matt Rader was an excellent punter as well. Yeah. Harvard coming. Uh oh, chains are starting to fall, Tony. I don't That's know what dangerous. that means. That's dangerous. You hear if you throw a penny off the uh, Empire <laughs> State Building, kill somebody? Terrence Patterson receives at the 21. Let's, we're waiting to see about these goalposts. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Right. We're the Penn Quaker Super Band, and you're watching Penn Football on UTV 13. We are back, and with 3.48 left until goalpost time, Oh, there's Owen Harley Cole. Hey! He's brave, folks. He's going to be there no matter what happens. And he's a Quaker. He was the mascot last year. He's been pummeled before. He might be pummeled again. Harley Copen. Quakers in his blood. Adam. Yes. I predicted on Sports Talk, and I was the only one who predicted that the goalposts were not coming down. Look at this. And as I hear the crowd. I think they might do it. I, I, I'm I, becoming more and more convinced. I did not think the spirit existed in this school, but it's almost like Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> you get all the people together in one place, and it just could happen. And look at the Penn players on the sideline. Let's tighten up on that Penn defensive sideline. Tighten that shot on the sideline. They are there ready. it is. They are getting this crowd ready. Really trying to get the fans pumped up. Harvard takes over with another quarterback. Almost intercepted. The pass nearly picked off by number Neil Rose is the quarterback. 47 Matt Hager. Well, folks, if you're watching, the drama is going to unfold in front of you. 3.42 to go. Penn with this game well in hand, with the Ivy League title well in hand, 41 to 10. Adam, the clouds are lined up get, about ready to the field. If we can get a shot right here, I now see what? the Gatorade or ice coming out. Jason Mayer, if we can get that shot, they're going need? after Coach Bagnoli. Uh oh Gatorade, get ready, Gatorade on now Bagnoli. Here we go. We're going to stick with that. Maybe we'll put the game in the upper left corner or something. And with that no flag, flag. Nothing oh, Magnolia, no idea, and there it is. And a hug from Jim Finn. A head rub from Larry Rasco. Jason Mayer and... Uh, Among others, what a tremendous feeling this just has to Tony, be. Tony, I'm going to guarantee you, Quaker fans are going to beat the Quaker safety squad. They're going to tape these goalposts down, I'll Neil guarantee Rose you. Rose hands it off. It's stuffed for no gain. Less than three and a half minutes to go until goalpost time. The event staff are prepared, and they are not going to be able to stop these people. Now. We saw that gathering of all the extra security. I don't know where they are. Adam. Where are they? If you can just sense what's going on, you look at the sidelines, the water girls are taking all the water off the field. Everyone is getting prepared to just get off this field. We said it before when they were clearing the way for toast. The chance of goalposts go up, pass is incomplete. I will bring up fourth down, Penn will get the ball back. No one really interested in games as Look at everyone that has come to the front waiting to storm the field. I've never witnessed anything like this in my life. No. Crowds like this have been known to line up outside the UTV studios to <laughs> storm Weedman after a game, but boy, and Harvard punts down 41-10. All right. There's going to be all the new players for are interference in. there on that catch. Cole and Smith now, they're getting everyone into this game, Adam, in to take the fair catch, but I think he wasn't given enough yardage. That's where the flag comes from. None of the Quakers care. They're ecstatic. None of the fans care. They're just saying, get that time down to 0-0. Zero, zero. 
Eric, can you tighten that shot? Can you tighten that shot? On the this is going to be unreal if this happens. Raider getting hugs. And once again, our Harley Copen down there to cover it all. I think there's Shannon goalpost. Look, you can see some That's security the at the bottom of your screen. But I think they're going to give way when this game ends. They can't, not two on a million. No way. They're going to throw a flag. Oh, more Gatorade now. Gatorade now for coaches, the assistant coaches. That one looking like uh, Coach Priori, the offensive coordinator. I might have been a false start or something. Lots of ice and stuff on the field now from these Gatorade splashes. First and 15. Handoff will go to Jason McGee. They're just playing out this game. Yeah, just a surreal feeling here at Franklin Field. Do you wonder, are the goalposts coming down? Two minutes, 38 seconds to go. Penn 41, Harvard 10. In 1994, Penn defeated Harvard 33 to nothing, won the Ivy League title, and took down these goalposts. Last year, Penn went up to Harvard, lost 33 to nothing, Harvard won the Ivy League title, and the police escorted each individual fan up to touch the goalpost. This is Philly attitude, Tony. Because these guys Philly power. These guys are not going to be don't escorted get this by anybody. Kind of excitement up in Massachusetts from those Harvard pricks. You got to come to Penn to take down the goalpost. 2 minutes left to go in this game. Forty-one to ten. Adam, I don't think anyone thought it would be this bad of a blowout. I certainly thought the Crimson would put up more of a fight than they have. Here we go. But Adam, I gotta think this is gonna happen. Hey, where are our Quaker super fans, Tony? They're in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking for the face paint. Tony, I think with this high drama, this could be a uh, time when everyone has their TV sets on. And let me remind everybody, UTV for three, Monday night, this Monday night, November 16th, 8 p.m., our Penn Basketball, Penn Basketball preview special on Tuesday night. And that's going to be intense as we see uh -oh. the event stay. Oh, and look in the far corner. Look in the far corner, the police truck, sirens blaring. Get ready for this. It's going to unfold in about a minute and 22 seconds. And now they shut off their sirens. And look at the players telling the crowd to get on this field. Woo! The players. This the is players amazing. The players are telling the crowd this to get on this field. Adam, I'm police never truck with sirens like blaring on one side. Police truck with sirens. Police truck, Eric, with sirens blaring on one side of the field. Crowd going nuts on the other. Let's get ready. And the players are flinging toast back into the stands. Wow. Well, it's Sports Talk Live this Wednesday night with Michael Jordan the night after the Penn-Kansas game, which will be on UTV 13. And you're going to see this footage right from the field. Adam, that's gonna I don't know what's going to unfold, but it's going to unfold in front Adam, of us. This is intense. And in front of you. And I love the support from the players. Yes. Saying to the fans, you know what? You can take these guys. Here we go. They've got numbers, is what it is. They've got numbers. Where is Harley Copen? Yeah, where is Harley? Harley He's might down have on the far end getting a shot. This should be something. I have never seen spirit like this at a Penn football game in my now near full three seasons of watching Penn football. This type of spirit you see at the basketball games we certainly saw last year for Penn Princeton, but never before have I seen this kind of enthusiasm for Penn football. And those right there are the bad guys. Those men in blue. Adam, yes. we, just, we just had an interesting point yes. by, made by Greg Brenner. Yes. Everyone defending that far goalpost, could you throw a fake? Oh, maybe and go with the minute, opposite. Wait a minute. No, goalpost. they've got defense on both sides. But Adam, there's no police over there. It's all event staff. You can yep. take event staff. Much easier than police. 
Here we go, keep him in bounds, 105 to go. Neil Rose with the carry, the quarterback. The crowd's ready, the police is ready, the event security's ready, and we're ready here at UTV. a minute to go. We've got Harley Copen on the field, we're watching this from upstairs. And with 53 Harvard seconds left. Harvard is gonna take a timeout, you gotta be kidding me. I think that's good, I think it's gonna get this crowd even angrier. Let's see if they respond. Everybody chanting goalposts. We everybody chanting goalposts. Let's get some shots. Look at this Penn sideline. Those are the guys we're going to need to help. Yeah. Eric, everything you get, make it really tight. Make it tight on Penn, tight on sideline. You gotta love the fact that these Pennsylvania players are cheering on the fans. I can't say that enough. But that is a lot Riot of gear. police. Would they ever get police. violent? If they're going to wait, see, here's my problem, Tony. If they're going to line up by the goalposts, are they going to get? Gonna, like defend? Are they going to That's what I'm saying. If they're not just going to prevent, oh if man. If we see violence here, Woo! I think that would be terrible for the university. I don't think. And I would blame the university entirely. Adam, I don't think they yep. could or should yep. be out there to be attacking or defending the goalposts like it was it's their a home goal territory. Post. It's, it's a goal, a goal post. post. And it, you know what, Adam? It gets retrieved Oh, man, what's happening? River. Is that? That's not tear gas. What is that? Oh, they're just clearing room for Brad Tasher. <laughs> Look Adam, at that. You're right inside the van. We told you. That's Adam, a police van. Adam, the goalpost gets retrieved down the river. It's yeah. not even like you have to make a new one. Tony, who will be first to be put inside that police um, van? My money's on the super fans. <laughs> super fans might shortly be meeting with Brad Tasher. 40 seconds remaining. Tony, the only person I know of, only one man with one name, and he wore a plaid shirt and jeans and a white t-shirt and a, a bad mask is Brad Tasher. I do know he was planning to storm the field. We go Brad back to, Tasher. we got to get back to game action. Well, we really don't have to. Oh, well, if they keep him in bounds. Oh, what a hard hit. Bounds. And a nice hit made. Your Pennsylvania Quakers one, are Ivy League champions. I don't champions. think there's one starter remaining on the field. No. 33 seconds remaining. These fans are pumped. But Adam. If it's a mad rush onto the field, they have to win. Look at that. If it's tentativeness, yeah. I think they lose. But the thing is, I don't know they're going to be prevented until they're full steam. Right. There's no one on the You don't see them. the police lining the see, I would have. I would have brought more police. Well, a, I would have let them bring the goalpost down. Yeah. B, if I was going to prevent them, I would have lined people up along that track. Move your cheerleaders out right now. Line them up along the track and try to prevent, prevent that initial surge. Here we Head go. Head off to number 26, Jake Heller. No one has yet stepped in front of a goalpost, though, as the clock stops at 26 seconds I don't think they're to come on the go. field, Adam. Right. To step in front of the goalpost would be coming on the field. A flag thrown by the referee. And there you see sitting by himself, sitting by himself, a shot of number 88, Brandon Clay, Big time wrestling fan, the guy who body slammed Weedman, number 88. Well, I'll just tell you, he was sitting by himself, and he's the guy that could bring a goalpost out by himself. There he is, number 88. Great friend of sports talk. Guy who picked John Weedman up by the neck. I mean, I think he could take one goalpost, and he put big Jason LeBron in the other, and he could pull another. Adam, Harvard got penalized. Maybe they took a timeout. They don't have any left. Right. 21 seconds left. Chanting. Chanting Ivy Champs. I smell cigar smoke. Victory cigar. Yep. If they keep them in bounds, that'll do it. Clock is supposed to run. 11 seconds to well, go. It is a, it is a Here we go. Down. It is a first Here down. Here we go. It's Let's a get a shot in the crowd. Oh, it's a first down. Clock has, has to stop. stop. The clock has to stop for a first down with 10 seconds remaining in this game. The anticipation is building. I'm looking at Harley Cope and he looks nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he looks nervous. They're going to spike the ball and the fans are livid. 
Seven seconds remaining. There's one fan on the field already. I see one fan, not on the field, on the sidelines. There's a fan already on the sidelines. I think he missed the boat. The game is not over yet. Here we go. Seven One final seconds play. Remaining. This is going to be a Hail Mary. Here we go, Hail Mary. This is it, last play. The Quakers have won the Ivy League title. Here come the fans, here are the police, and they're not going to pull down the goalposts. They're not going to pull down the goalposts. Oh. They want to. Oh, no. It's hesitation, though. They're not. Let's see. Adam, it's a matter of momentum. They Let's see. Picked up momentum. All the players right now have gathered at center field and are busy watching. Now the police come forward. Here, Here comes the crowd. Here it is. I don't think it's going to happen. There's a battle. Pushing, shoving, security versus fans. There it is. What an awful job by the Penn Safety Committee, by the Penn administrators. How awful, how horrible. Let's see. Now wait, some fans are going to now start looking for the other goalposts. There's still security, but no police. Here we go. Here comes a charge to the other end. They can do this. They can do this. Because there are no police on this other end. It's just security. Look, a fan out in front leading the charge. A thousand, at least a thousand, Tony. Adam. Maybe. Some crowd chanting goalposts, but they're not helping. Players still on the field. What an awful, awful job by Adam, the Penn University of Pennsylvania despicable. administration. It's absolutely despicable. It's tradition. What an awful job. It Nobody should ever pay a dime again for another ticket. What an awful an job. It time for fans, all Quaker fans. You hear the boos resounding. Well, you know those fans who are booing, get on the field. Alums, get on the field. Here we go, let's see. OK, the goal pass has been tipped. Here's some pushing. Here's some shoving. Police come forward. They've got the goalpost. And it's coming down. The security has been taken back. There's little the police can do now. And it's going to come down. Hey, say goodbye to your goalpost, University of Pennsylvania. What a job by the fans, Tony. What a job by your Quaker fans. Now here come police from the left side. From your left side, the police are moving closer. Will any token arrests be made? We've got police coming from the left side. Chris is on it. There we go. Here it comes. Some fans on top, some fans hanging on. And the University of Pennsylvania administration really getting what they deserve. I hope the goalpost lands on them. Take it right into their office and throw it there. Adam, event staff on that side of the field leaving. I, Tony, I have not seen a single arrest made. Now here come the police on the left side. The police are coming down the police field. Police are walking down the field slowly. Are they going to start pulling people off for an arrest? Now, Adam, the thing Goal with this is shaking. Is it's, it's close not. to coming down. They've got that styrofoam cover. Let's make a switch, Brian. We've got that styrofoam cover off. There's no practice. Say goodbye to your event staff. Goodbye. Here it comes. It's leaning. It's shaking. It's not a process that happens immediately, right. as we saw from the 94 tape. And the Woo! thing is, these fans have never seen it done before. Right. So they, you know, it's not a matter of experience. These guys are all rookies. They're passing around that styrofoam covering of the goalpost. Having been hit around like a volleyball. All gathered in a circle. See, I, are they going to start making some token arrests? They're moving into the crowd. Tony, they're moving into the crowd from the left side. Uh -huh. Just a surreal scene. 
They've got to get the goalpost down before the post. Oh comes. no! Oh no, they've got to, someone, the fans just have to stand and not move. Let's see. Look at that, here's your riot police. You've got to get the blocks. Someone's got Let's to block see. them. Pick them up. Can they get it down? Adam, no one's, I'm running up, out. no one's picking up the police. Uh-oh, it's coming down. There it is. It's got to fall before they get there and start making some arrests. Uh-oh. Here it comes. There it is. Crowd loudening. And your goal post is down. There it is. Take that University of Pennsylvania front office. Say goodbye to the goal post. Your Pennsylvania Quakers are the 1998 Ivy League champions. And our Harley Copen should be following this thing right to the river. Cops are now pushing people. Cover that for possible lawsuits against the police. We can help the fans as well. Someone stay on the police. And the goalposts are being carried. They've got the goalpost. And They're the heading police to the are river. not going to stop them. Where's our Harley Copen? Is he down there? I hope so. Maybe he was arrested. No one as yet has been hit. Wait a minute. One fan's been arrested. One fan has been arrested. One fan is being arrested and led to the police van. A fan has been arrested. Adam, can I tell you something? Yes. The goalpost is not whole. The goalpost right. has been shattered. <laughs> <laughs> One fan is being led away. No, they got to go that way. You got to take it Wait that a minute. way. Wait a minute. They're going to march it around the field first. Adam, the up and they're being led been by the players. The I'd love to see the police pull Jim. There's another fan arrested. Another fan's been arrested. Do we have that anywhere? Do we have this? No, there's a police. Fans are being arrested. There it is. My God, it's Weedman. No, it's not. There are literally fans being arrested. How horrible. What a terrible job by this university. But the fans have overtaken them, and they have the goalposts. Adam, what are they doing going in the direction of the police? I don't know. Just take oh, them out put it in the police van. Put the goalpost in the police van. And Jim there's Finn. Jim Finn. Jim Finn is leading them. Jim Finn is leading them. Here That's number come. seven, Jim Finn. I put that goalpost right in the police van. Jim Finn is leading them. to. I'd love to see a policeman try to arrest that guy. Woo! Here they come. Boy, let's get in on that. Adam, I just, I just point out. You see more arrests? How is right the, below us. How is the Look goal the post been shattered? Boy, the Ivy champions, high fives from the players. Now, where are they going with it? I don't know. I think you can come out right the near side, and they didn't know it. Or the exit was being blocked. Just a surreal scene, Tony. Here they go. They're headed outside. Are they locked in? At this point, you really need to lock in. They've got the goalposts. They're going to get out of this stadium because no one's leaving. They hear special police with white uniforms, and they are calling to the other police. They're going to try to block them in. Mike, look at what's happening here. Get Chris Kessler. Look at what's happening. Now they're calling the police down. They're going to try to block them in. They've moved their police van. They're going to keep that door locked at our far end, and I think they're going to try to lock these goalposts in. Someone's been hurt. Eric Gordon, somebody's been hurt. There's a stretcher onto the field. Is that a, a fan of some sort? Someone's been hurt. Someone stick with that. We don't need two on that. Get somebody else in the goalpost. Someone Everything is, tight, Chris. Someone Everything was tight. hurt as the goalposts were being taken down on this side. Maybe we'll split screens. Let's split screens if we can. And the fans are going right, to some fans to another exit. They're going to try some to fans have to open the door first. Oh, I'd put it right into the offices. Put it right <laughs> into the offices of the people that didn't want this. This is so awful. But meanwhile, on the near side, someone hopefully yeah, someone has been hurt. Hope not too badly. 
has been hurt. There was just tremendous masses there, a tremendous mass of people. And the band played on, just like the Titanic. You'd still hear the band. Now let's see, have they found an opening? There's a police van where these fans are headed. They've locked them in. Brilliant move in the chess match of <laughs> pen officials versus pen vans. I don't understand that because this near side What's was What's happening? Their police van, cops, near, as we said, are now going to The near right side was their best bet. Yeah, but if they They could have just stormed through that gate. It's wild. Oh, I don't know. It was them versus police. Fans have been very hesitant to take on police. They were the way they were able to take on the pen security. They still have one goalpost stopped. All the players still on the field. Stay tuned for UTV 13 post game. Yeah. Reaction from the players and maybe with some arrested fans. Wow. So question number one, the goalposts have been taken down. Question there, number two, will they go into Google? We have seen arrests. We have seen arrests made. We do have a stretcher on the field for an injured fan or fans. Adam, we're seeing tears. The they gate is open. They got it. They got the goalposts. Now say goodbye to the goalposts. Adam, I think they used him as a battering ram. And it's just all over Somebody for the better take a picture and give it to Maureen Rush, because her goalposts are gone. I'm terribly sorry, Maureen. The Pennsylvania Quakers are your 1998 Ivy League champions, and there's nothing that the police can do about it. Wow. There's Jim Finn running off the field for his final time at Franklin Field number seven. We're gonna catch Jim Finn running off the field. He helped lead that march down to the goalpost. What an incredible day for Finn. What an incredible pen career for Finn. Perhaps headed to the NFL. Now back as the goalposts are being led out. And now we're done. We're, we're still, we have no status on the The fans the are gonna be leading this hurt. one down. Woo! There's a stretcher by where the so Adam they went with the fake. The police were great work. On, the, on the left yep. goalpost and they work. went for the right one. Great and work for these fans. Between a goalpost being guarded by five police and a goalpost being guarded by thirty. Yes. Smart fans. See, we're still smart. In the meantime, fans some players still smoking down. cigars below us. Fan is still gone, Eric. Eric, we have, we, have a, have we have some players smoking cigars below us. What a scene. I never thought it would happen. I never thought they'd be able to get it out of here. Wow. That came qu down quicker than a 94. Because under the pressure, the time constraint they had, they needed to get the goalpost down before the police reached them. Eric, there's a stretcher on the field. Goalposts being let out at one end. At the opposite end, a very different situation where they've brought a stretcher onto the field. It could be a very serious injury. That is where a goalpost used to reside. Well, you know, when it's war. Now, I think that injury could be terrible for these fans that have been arrested and maybe more that might have been caught on tape, perhaps because if something, oh, I think this fan might be totally out of it. Let's see, no point to speculate, no movement in his legs. But of course, you know, if somebody was hurt and then to send a message of why this shouldn't happen yep. again, they might be even more serious with the arrests that have already been made. We but did again, this token, update you. This token arrest being right. made, as we predicted, right. Update but you. The goalpost did come goalpost down. is down. We hear the cheers from outside. We hear the cheers from 33rd Street. Quakers are your Ivy League champs. They beat Harvard 41 to 10. A fan is down and has been put on a stretcher. That's where we're at right now. Keep it coming. We hear cheers from outside. All right, Tony. I think it's about time to, for us to. Head to the post game. Arrests Adam. have been made. A fan is hurt. The goalpost, one of them at least, no longer in this stadium. It's out on 33rd, heading towards the river. And we're heading down to talk to the players, talk to the coaches, get more in this situation. We're going to continue on with our UTV 13 post game show in a moment. Keep going, keep going, keep going.
right, welcome back. Adam Thomas here with the two seniors, Joe Piel and Matt Rader. First of all, what's the feeling? I mean, just a surreal atmosphere, goalposts coming down. Were either one of you guys on the field for that when they came down? Oh, yeah, definitely were all on the field. Uh, it's just a great emotional event. You know, the student body got involved, and right. everybody came to the game, and it was, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of pre-hype of whether, they're, whether or not they're going to let them tear right. them down. But uh, I thought it was great that they came down and took them down. You know, it's a, you know, a scene we'll never forget. Right. Coach Bagnelli said he got out of there, didn't want to get on film with the whole goalpost 98 controversy, but saw Jim Finn leading the charge and saying, get it down to the other. I mean, what were you guys doing like when that was happening? I mean, at that point, I was just, I was still looking at the clock, you know, watching the, watching the time wind down. Right. I wasn't really getting involved in that until after the game. Game was over. Right. And uh, you know, I, was just, I was just taking it all in at right. that point. At this point, is it like mission accomplished? I mean, you know, both seniors, it happens. You win the championship. I mean, does this make it all worth it? Everything last year, losing to Harvard and all kinds of leads up to this? Still got one left, you know, I mean, against right. Cornell. I mean, I mean, we're still not we're still not the outright champs, and we, we win next week, and it's all ours. So, I mean, we, we got we to, gotta, you know, make sure we, we get things done this week and, mm -hmm. and get it done next week at Cornell and win it all. Then I, at that point, then I'll be, you know, right. I'll be tough is mission that? accomplished. How tough is that? It's gonna be a tough game, you know. Play, always playing up a, you know, away game. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what the weather conditions are gonna be like, stuff like that. But I can guarantee that we'll be ready to play. You got it. All right, Matt Rader, Joe Piel, let these guys go celebrate. Penn wins 41-10. And welcome back to UTV 13's post-game coverage. Adam Thomas along with Tony DiMedio. Tony, just a sickening, sickening scene behind us as the police line up for a picture uh, with the one goalpost that they protected. The point of that, I don't know. I mean, what this university does of late to try to take the fun out of Penn Athletics for the fans is disgusting. You've got guys throwing everybody out of here, even little kids throwing around footballs. And again, just a disgusting... Uh, seen there is they're so happy to have saved one goal post. Well, folks, if you turn around, you can see what really ended up happening. Another goal post gone, as our own Chris Kessler has it. So that's the story. All right, Tony, let's get to what actually went down in this game. 41 to 10, the Quakers win this one. Uh, you know, first thing first, Jim Finn, what a game. Well, great game for Jim Finn. You know, he didn't have the yards per carry that right. he usually has. He didn't really break the big long run that we're used to accustomed to seeing Jim Finn break but 26 carries for 111 yards three touchdowns your standard Jim Finn day is actually yep. less than his season yep. average he doesn't get the 141 that he needed to break the all-time pen rushing record almost a lock to do that though yeah. next week at Cornell unless something absolutely disastrous happens so Jim Finn should be your all-time pen running leader yeah, no question he's going to do that at Cornell. Penn, here's where they stand. They still need to win that game. They have one Ivy loss. A few other teams have two. If Penn beats Cornell next week, they win the title outright. So they'll be going with all guns blazing in that game. Matt Rader, of course, is a phenomenal game as well. Matt Rader, 259 yards passing. So he's halfway, again, to breaking the record right. for all time passing for the Quakers. Right. The amazing thing about these two guys all in two years that they've done that. They didn't have the, the you know, uh, four years here at Penn to even get adjusted to the system. They've only been here for two. But it's just a great time for the seniors today. You know, you saw in the locker room, it was pretty festive. We didn't even get the interviews that we right. wanted just because you let the guys go off and they get to celebrate tonight. They have to get ready for next week right. at Cornell because you want to win the title outright. But hey, home at Franklin Field, the fans were actually behind them. The fans came through, the fans took down the goalposts. The players came through with an unbelievable victory, just a great day for seniors and a great day for the Quakers. Yep. And, and a great day because hopefully this will show uh, the university at large, hey, you know, it's going to happen anyway. They were defeated, and, and I think it was an important victory, the win by Penn over Harvard, 41-10, to 10, and the win by the fans, and, and just by, just a win for fun. I mean, really, really just ridiculous what they were doing with the police, with the arrests, arresting people for storming the field, and then they want to sell you tickets yeah. to basketball games and sell programs and stuff like that. I mean, really, in the end, you know, they try their hardest to keep you away, but luckily the fans were able to take those goalposts, send them out into the river. Okay, here's what i got to tell you, a couple program notes, Tony. You're going to see those shots of those goalposts going to the river. We had a cameraman on the field as it was happening, the arrests, the injuries, no update on that Penn fan that was taken out in a stretcher, and everything. We had someone on the field. you got to stay tuned to UTV all week to see that on News Digest, maybe on Midnight Live, who knows. Also, tomorrow night, midnight, Sunday night at midnight on Midnight Live, going to break a big Penn basketball signing, a big Penn, big Penn basketball story. You're going to hit it first before the newspaper. Then it's UTV for three. Monday night, Tony, March to Victory, our Penn Basketball Preview Special. That's November 16th. November 17th, Tuesday night, we've got Penn in Kansas. And Wednesday night, Sports Talk Live, 
Michael Jordan's coming on. We might have found him in this footage somewhere. Well. Who knows? All right, Penn wins at 41-10. Got a lot of thank yous to do. Brian Grossman, tremendous job directing. No question about that. On the cameras, Harley Copeland kind of doing our hero cam, <laughs> coming down to the field. Of course, Chris Kessler and Eric Gordon, Jesse Spector, and Stats Greg Brenner. An incredible job. Just a wealth of information all day. For all the information. No question about that. Uh, and for Tony Demedio, I'm Adam Thomas Penn, your Ivy League champions. And Adam, I think a big thank you goes out just to the fans for making this all happen and to the Quakers. Great job this season. Great job by the fans today. Yeah. Taking them down, showing the university who is boss at Penn. You got it. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week.